welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Just making my way to a destination that I've never fished before. Um, this is the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier down here in Florida. So we have paid. Um, it actually cost us $12.84. So uh, two adults whether you're fishing or not, we both had to pay, which is fine. And it includes your car fee. And it does include your car fee, so I think it's a good deal, actually. Um, so I'm just going up to the fourth building on the right, I think she said, to get some bait. And, uh, and then I think I'm gonna make my way back down to do some fishing actually by the pe by the other bridge so I can kind of float under the other bridge. I saw a guy on TV or on YouTube that was fishing around the bridge. He actually had some live pinfish, which I don't have. And uh, he was actually fishing for grouper. So um, yeah, I may check out some of that action. All right, you'll have to forgive me for not having my camera running at the time that I landed this fish but we got a speckled trout here on live shrimp here at the Sunshine Bridge Pier here in Florida so I'm gonna get a measurement on him and I'll let you know if we make it all right guys he was just short so um, I tossed him back you know here at OD5 we like to be kind to the fish it was a tough call but um, I try to do it by the book you know because God's been too good so just two lines, you know, just two of those little lines short on that tape measure. But um, right at 15, but um, I couldn't bring myself to put them, in, put them on the ice. So uh, hopefully God will bless me and let me get a bigger one. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see. All right. So I know this camera really isn't doing this justice. But I imagine you can see the beauty that I am beholding is a rainbow over the water here down at Sunshine Skyway Bridge Pier. And it's a double. You see the second one outlines it there, just faded ever so lightly. And I know you know the lyrics. Somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah, like that. I had to bring it to you. And give you a little bit of the tune because this wouldn't be OD5 if we didn't make a big deal of the rainbow over the water as we're about to fish a little bit more. Rainbow is no more for today and uh, now we're at it so I'm gonna start with a gotcha plug today. Don't know what's happening, hadn't seen any water breaking activity, no fish frenzy feeding, anything like that going on but uh, we're gonna give the gotcha plug a go. Carpe deal. Uh-huh. What is that? A little lizard fish. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Gotcha plug, lizard fish action. He got both hooks. Obviously not a keeper, but we got action. Second or third cast, whatever that was. It was 
They weren't, but I got to see it, and I will, I will come back. I think it's worth it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's just a matter of getting here, which isn't bad. It's seven-hour drive. Like seven, eight-hour drive. But I definitely would do it. You know, if, if it's gonna be a long weekend, it wouldn't be a day trip. It would definitely be an overnight trip. Like when you were. Another one of those little buggers. So these are the star of the show today, lizard fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are departing. Can't say that it was a very productive fishing trip, but I did have a good time. It's therapeutic. Hopefully I'm in this shot. It doesn't look like the camera's pointing at me, but hopefully I am. But um, yeah, I mean, it was cool, cool place. Didn't really, like I said, see anybody catching a whole lot. Um, I would definitely say the night was more productive than the, the day. Um, and also kind of, you know, not, well, it is what it is. I was a little bit surprised that the, the bait shop was actually out of pretty much everything except frozen bait last night they ran out of live shrimp uh, which was kind of what the fish were getting on and uh, this morning they didn't have any fiddlers didn't have any uh, sand fleas didn't have any uh, fiddler crabs I think I said that already uh, so that was a little bit challenging you know coming out so I would say if you're coming this way just not to be necessarily reliant on the bait shop here on the pier to have everything you need I would say plan in advance and uh, get your live minnows and get your aerator bucket going and get yourself a few dozen if that's what you want to do if you want to fish that, that route but um, but all in all again beautiful place challenging weather last night that uh, kept me from fishing quite a bit but um, you know I'm an optimist glass half full kind of guy so I definitely will say I'll be back and um, as much as I didn't get the mangrove snapper or the group or any of that action um, I did have a good time, got a um, speckled trout that was almost big enough, ladyfish, um, a few lizard fish, which um, wifey did a little bit of Google research on and supposedly they taste like flounder or something like that. But um, So I have a couple of those that I'm going to experiment with just to taste them because I've never tasted them. And um, we're going to find out. I'll let you know how that goes. I'll, I'll come back and give you that update in a future video. So. As always, thanks for stopping through. This is Chris of OD5 signing out. Be kind to the fish.